Yeah. So good morning. So our lesson for the day is we will uh, find ways to prove right triangles are congruent. So this is not my uh, video or PowerPoint presentation. This was given to me by Ma'am Jesusa S. Hardinel. Yeah. The objectives for today's lesson is we will prove congruent right triangles using the LR, LL rather or the leg leg theorem, the hypotenuse leg or hypotenuse acute theorem, leg acute angle theorem, and the hypotenuse leg theorem. So, apat yung theorem sa pag aaralan natin. So, by warm up, find the values that variables represent. Ayan. So, by using uh, 9 is equal to 6, by proportionality theorem class, we have 9 is to 6, C is to 10, and D is to 10. Paano natin hahanapin si C and D? By common ratio. So, ayan. 90 is to 6C. Ayan, 90 is to 6C. So, ang magiging sagot dyan is... Ayan. How about this one? By proportionality theorem, we have X is to 12. Y is to 16. 10 is to 20. So, pag hahanapin natin siya by using cross-multiplication, ayan, 20x is equal to 120. Pag hahanapin natin yung x, ha? So, pag uh, divide both sides by 20, the answer is 6. And then, if this one, next one is 20y, Dito naman, 20y is equal to 160. Divide both sides by 20 again. Your y will be 8. Okay. So, after our warm-up, let's try to analyze our LL theorem or leg-leg theorem. Class, ito ay applicable lamang po sa right triangles. So, sabi dito, if the legs of one right triangle are congruent to the corresponding legs of another right triangle, then the right triangles are congruent. Just like this one. Kaya nga siya tinawag na leg-leg theorem. Kasi yung mga marks of congruence natin ay nasa both legs ng ating right triangle. So, hindi natin plus ito masasabing leg Ha, itong isang to kasi this is called the hypotenuse or the longest leg of our right triangle. So kung makikita natin, the first mark of congruence is on the first leg or on the base. Ayan. And the second mark of congruence is on the second leg of our triangle. Ayan. Theorem uh, 5.4 naman or si H8 theorem, hypotenuse acute angle. Ibig sabihin yung mark of congruence natin is nasa hypotenuse at nasa acute angle natin. Dalawa lang yung makikita natin mark of congruence dyan. If the hypotenuse and an acute angle of one triangle are congruent to the corresponding hypotenuse and acute angle of another right triangle, then the right triangles are congruent. Ayan, kung makikita nyo, yung hypotenuse natin class may mark of congruence. Ganon din sa kabilang hypotenuse or corresponding hypotenuse niya. Ibig sabihin, they are congruent to each other. Next, kung makikita nyo class, Dito sa ating acute angle, may mark of congruence din. Ganon din sa kabila, sa corresponding acute angle niya. Kaya siya tinawag na hypotenuse acute angle theorem. Dito naman class, kay leg hypotenuse acute or, or rather leg acute angle theorem. 
Ayan ha. Kung yung isang leg natin, ayan, and an acute angle is congruent to the corresponding leg, this leg, and an acute angle, then the right triangles are congruent. Kaya nga tinawag na leg acute angle. Pag sinabi naman class natin na HL congruence, we have if the hypotenuse, this hypotenuse, and another leg, Ayan, of a triangle, right triangle is congruent to the corresponding hypotenuse, this hypotenuse, and another leg of the right triangle, then these two right triangles are congruent. Kaya nga tinawag na HL, hypotenuse, leg, hypotenuse, leg. Okay, if we have isosceles triangles naman, we have the isosceles triangle theorem. Ano naman kaya ang distinction ni isosceles triangle theorem? Any isos in any isosceles triangle, the angles opposite, the congruent sides are also congruent. Kumbaga meron tayong congruent legs, si AC and BC. They are congruent. Next. They have also congruent base angles. Ang base angles natin ay si angle A and si angle B. Meaning to say, congruent sila, parehas sila ng sukat. Next, si altitude CM bisects vertical angle C. Ibig sabihin, magkaroon din tayo ng congruent angles which is angle ACM and angle C or BCM. The altitude CM by sex base AB. Ayan. So, kung meron tayong isosceles triangle theorem, makakabuo tayo ng dalawang corollaries or yung tinatawag na consequence. Kung baga kung may puno or may cause, may effect tayo sa English. Sa math, meron din ganun. If uh, you have done something, meron siyang consequence na tinatawag. So, we have corollary 5. 0.1 and corollary 5.2. Kung meron tayong equilateral triangle, an equilateral triangle is also equiangular. When we say equi equilateral, pare-pareha siya ng side. Pag sinabi naman nating equiangular, pare-pareha siya ng angle. Again ha, equilateral stands for equal sides. Equiangular naman is equal angles. In corollary 5.2 naman class, each angle of an equilateral triangle has 60 degrees. Kung baga, standard na siya class. Sa equi uh, equilateral triangle, standard 60 degrees ang loob ng kanyang angle. So, 60 plus 60 is 120 plus 60 is 180 degrees. Standard yan class. So, let's have an example. In the figure, it is given that line QS is perpendicular. This one, this symbol is perpendicular to line PW, PQ. Line PQ is perpendicular to line QT and line RQ. Yan, line RQ is perpendicular to line QW. Name the right angles that has. Ayan ha. Ininame natin yung mga right triangle that has hypotenuse QT. Tingnan natin. Yung right triangle na may hypotenuse QT, ito si hypotenuse QT natin. Ayan. We have triangle Q, S, T. Kasi ang hypotenuse niya ay si Q, T. How about hypotenuse Q, W? Hanapin natin si Q, W. Gawa tayo ng right triangle. So, pwede kaya si Q, W, S. O, tama. We have triangle Q, S, W. Next. Side QT is one of its legs. Nasaan si QT? Ayan. So, ano kayang mabubuo na 
right triangle natin kung si QT ay isa sa legs ng ating triangle si triangle PQT hanapin natin triangle PQT PQT ayan si uh, ang right triangle natin or right angle natin ay nandito kay angle Q Big sabihin, si T or QT, isang leg lamang siya. Next, RQ as one of its legs. Si side RQ, dito siya. Ayan. Leg lamang siya, class. Hindi siya pwedeng mag-hypotenuse. Hanap tayo ng longest leg. Pwede kaya si triangle QWR. Tingnan nyo ha, QWR. O, oh, tama. We have triangle R, W, Q. Ayan. Ang right triangle or right angle natin na kay angle Q. Line PT as its hypotenuse. Nasaan si line PT? Nandito, line PT. Hypotenuse yan. Longest leg. Pwede kaya class si Triangle PQT. O, tama. Si triangle PQT. Kasi ang longest side niya is side PT. Name every right triangles that has QS on its leg. Si line QS. Dapat leg daw siya. Pwede si triangle QRS. Pwede rin si Q ST, triangle QST. Pwede rin yung bigger triangle na QPS. Pwede rin yung class triangle QWS. Ayan yung mga nabanggit ko kanina. B. Use the mark shown to determine whether each pair of the uh, right triangle is congruent or not. If the triangles are congruent, state the postulate or theorem you used. Kung makita nyo, class, nandito sa leg, or sa hypotenuse yung ating mark of congruence. E kaso meron pa siyang uh, same reflexive sides. Ano kaya ito? So we have HL congruence kasi hypotenuse. And the other one is the leg. This one. Kasi reflexive side siya. When we say reflexive sides, ibig sabihin congruent sides din yun. E nasa leg tayo. So this is HL. How about this one? May reflexive side pa rin tayo. This one. This side. And acute angle. So ano kaya to? HA. So, hypotenuse, because this line is the longest line, hypotenuse, acute angle. And this one, may acute angle tayo. Ayan. May longest line or hypotenuse na reflexive. HA pa rin siya. Next one, how about this one? Meron tayong side. And vertical angles, we have HL pa rin. Paano naging HL? Kasi may leg tayo. And next, kung makikita nyo class, makabuo tayo dito ng triangle. And uh, reflexive siya, ibig sabihin, ayan, yung mga sides natin or hypotenuse is reflexive. So, hypotenuse leg theorem yan. How about this one? Meron tayo sa hypotenuse. Ayan. Meron din tayo sa leg. So, we have HL congruence postulate. Letter C. An isosceles triangle is given. Name the following. Alin kaya dyan yung base? Si line AT, syempre. Kasi yung uh, congruent legs natin ay si AM and si MT. Ayan o, line AM is the leg and the other leg is line MT. How about the vertex angle? 